Alrighty guys, and I am back on the Cromagnon server. Um, just fin finishing up some uh, snow farming. Uh, I've been quite, kind of busy with that. Um, I got this one's full, this one's full, that one's full, that one's full, that one's getting there, and then I gotta get that one. Um, I need all that for my base, and uh, yeah, it's gonna take a while. Uh, we moved all the, some of the villagers. I got some more going. As you can see, uh, about 20 in there. I might turn that off, actually. And uh, I use some of my other ones over here. Is it nighttime? No. And we also went caving a second ago. I did, by myself. <clears throat> and uh, also making some nether rack for nil. Or, yeah, nether brick. I have 25 diamond ore, and I was going to go ahead and uh, fortune that on camera with you guys. See how much we get. Uh, leave a guess in the bottom, in the comments, how many you think we're gonna get out of this. 25. I say... A stack. A little more than a stack. It, 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 it might be barely a stack. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Ooh, ooh it's gonna be close. Oh, 58. Ugh. Whoever got that right gets a cookie. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I don't have any cookies, so have fun getting those. Um, so those villagers I, I I took out for a reason, and I will go show you guys uh, as well as the Nether Hub. Um, we have extra character on now. Here's the Nether Hub. It's not complete yet. Uh, Nell's working on it, and Kurg's designing it. Uh, Nell's doing the layout and everything, but Kurg's doing all the building and stuff. I think. But he designed all that, and Nell laid it all out and finished it and set it up. And Kirk's come up with a ceiling design. I haven't heard from him yet, so I don't know. Uh, I'll show you what's down there in, in a minute. There's three things I gotta show you today, and whew, it, it's been a couple of days of hard work <laughs> from me and Nell. And so far, with all the people that have built anything at spawn, I mean, we built the. Overender, we built the CFC, we built, he built the um, Healing Heart thing. So that's something right there I'll show you guys. Uh, first I want to show you this over here. Oh, I'll go ahead and show you the Iron Farm. So this is the Iron Farm, it's just one. Uh, we might put another one over there. Uh, we're not going to stack them up because we kind of want to keep it neat. And either we're going to do one here and then at the bottom, or just leave one like this. But it's also a squid farm if you can get it so they don't die. I mean, so they die at the bottom. Because right now they just fall through the lava and hit water. So they just don't actually die. But, yeah. It works, I guess. We don't have any squid ink sacks yet, so it don't matter. But, yeah, all the villagers went to here. And there's like two in here, two on that side, three on that side, and three on three that side, which is ten. All together, and that's all you need now. Um... You need less doors, but we just went ahead and used the six on each corner. Um, yeah, we, I'll, I'll show you the uh, the loot. It works pretty well. Just for one farm, it's pretty nice. And this right here is an AFK room for the um, slime. And as you can see, we've got quite a bit. And you just stand right here. Ink, I mean, uh, I keep wanting to say ink. The slime balls come up to you, and you empty... empty a little, a little, a little, words. You empty your um, inventory into an inner chest and you just stand here AFK and get back and if your inventory gets full it'll go to the chest and you get you know double however many. But uh, yeah we use that uh, for the other farm that I'll show you guys later. Um, as you can see I, have, I haven't died. I, well I died once but when did I die? I don't even remember when I died or how I died. Whatever. But the slime spawn, this is a double slime chunk. The slime spawn on these uh, platforms here. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Yeah, one, two, three, and four layers. They fall down to this water and they get pushed into a, um, a drowning system and the items get collected and taken up over that direction and up into a item elevator. Anything down here? I was going to see if I had snow. If I had snow, I'm going to take it. Um, yeah, so that works well. It's about a slime ball a minute. 
I mean, a second, a minute, a minute would take forever. But if I was standing up there earlier, not today, but uh, yesterday or day before yesterday, uh, two days ago actually, working on um, saving up some slime balls to make uh, enough slime blocks for the farm, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And um, yeah, it was uh, about a slime ball a second. Let's see if we can get any going. Nine, okay. Shouldn't take too long once they start going. I mean, once they go, they go. <laughs> I got about nine stacks in maybe an hour. Which probably in a slime ball a second, but it's quick. I can just say that. I hate that you fall into the middle of a hopper. Up, down. Down, up, up, down, down, up, down. Down, up, down. Down, up, down. Anyway, I just got done watching the um, Walking Dead. The season 5 premiere. Oh my gosh, man. It's going to be a good season. It's going to be a really good season. I'm entering the chance to win <laughs> to go to Las Vegas, Las, Los Angeles? Yeah, Los Angeles and meet the the crew, the cast, and everything. Well, apparently it's... Well, oh yeah, Nell's on, so it's probably going to take a while. I forgot. Somebody's on, and they have caves around them, and it's going to take a while for it to actually go. So, we just wasted some minutes there. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we weren't sure if this was going to work. We had to, um, beginning, it wasn't working. So we had to make a, get the doors to see sunlight one time, and then it counts as a village, and then we could remove it. So we did that, and, uh, it works. I mean, it's not the fastest golem farm ever, but, um, I'll show you the drops on it. It's pretty nice, though. Free iron, so we don't really care. We gotta figure out how we're gonna... I don't know if we're gonna... Uh, I don't know if we are actually going to remove the poppies, but yeah, we got quite a bit of iron there. How much is that exactly? It's almost nine stacks. It's getting close to nine stacks. But yeah, it's free iron. Uh, it's gonna fill up four chests before it gets full, which I doubt will ever happen. <laughs> I really doubt it'll ever get full, but it works, I guess. Um, we had to remove the door down at the overender, and I'll explain the overender in another video. Um, things have changed with Enderman mechanics, the AI and stuff like that, so I'm going to try to explain all that in the, uh, in the next video I do, which should be about Tuesday. Around Tuesday is when I'm going to record it, not out Tuesday. Hopefully my power doesn't go out, it's pretty bad storms right now. Um... Yeah, be bad. Have to start all over. <laughs> um, yeah, so I can show you what's up here. This took us a while. I was messing around in um in creative on a creative world, and um, come up with a gold farm. Uh, I'll show you those in a minute. And then I'll set up a little sorting system for it. I was just standing there watching because I'm lazy. But, uh, so, normally a gold farm would be, like, a piston pusher or, or a shifting floor design. We use the shifting floor design, but it's not the King Happy version. It's my own version, I guess. It works pretty well. It uses slime blocks, so it's pretty cheap. You only need one piston per layer, and no crazy hopper timer or anything. Uh, I didn't bring any blocks, did I? Mm. I was going to try to get out there and show you. I think the top of the ladder is a thing over there. But I can show you how it works. This is our AFK guy here, so we get constant um, gold all the time. Let's see if I can show you guys. So yeah, um, only problem is right here. What, what's going on here? Is there something in the... That was weird. Must have been an invisible guy or something. I couldn't see him. I can't get to the redstone. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's just use blocks of coal. 
I want to show you the redstone. I liked it. It's kind of compact. Uh, please don't be mad at me, wherever you're at. I hear them, but I don't see them anywhere. Anyway, so, the tripwire are right here on this block and activates the redstone on the top. Now, hopefully I don't, like, fall to my death. And, it, uh, just so that you can get both of them activated at the same time. And, um, it goes into this comparator, which is in subtract mode, and it makes a clock right here. And then it had to go down and around, and we had to use a movable block because sometimes the... Where is he at? Sometimes the um, slime box would duplicate themselves, and they would come back and pick it up and move it. And this is Nell's idea. I, I didn't... So the problem was, stuff was jumping up and getting up here and causing it to just back and forth over and over. And it wouldn't actually knock them off because they were up here. So we had a half slab there and they could just hop on top of it and, you know, just go back and forth all the time. So then now I decided, hey, we can use stairs and it doesn't break the string. So we use stairs and that works and it's perfectly fine now. But, uh, yeah, that right there activates that piston right there. I don't break the redstone right there. And, um, pushes this floor back and forth. You can have three, but, um, it's... How we... I don't know how to explain it. So, if we're going to do three here, it's more blocks to be pushed. So that means less time for mobs to spawn. So the more blocks you push is going to take up time to spawn. Because they're pushing more blocks. So it's easier to just add more layers, which this can go infinite layers down. And so you can't drop them anymore. Which, I, I would assume you need to drop them, because I don't know of the, another way to kill pigmen, so... Other than crushing them, I can pick up all these at the bottom. Um, but yeah, I liked it. I'm also going to use this design as a, a actual mob farm. Well, that's eventually going to be in a hopper. Actually, everything's in a hopper now. It's all going to be in the trash. Awesome. Hopefully I don't lose this one. <laughs> Gimme. Thank you. Um, oh, I should put the box of coal up. Whatever. But yeah, it works pretty nice. I'm not going to test it, but uh, we are going to go over here and watch them spawn. Yeah, there's some. The babies are the only the issue. They don't get knocked off unless a big one falls through, which eventually will happen. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I like that right there. Watching them get knocked all the way off. Oh, it's hilarious. The only time they take damage is when they, um, if they go too quick, like that, they activate the tripwire and the blocks move so it hits them. And they don't actually get the effect of the slime block. So if you slow it down and do it that way, it wouldn't actually cause them to take damage. But it doesn't matter for us because we're just going to kill them anyway. And they don't take that much damage. So the time they get down 12 layers, they aren't going to be like half health or something. Which doesn't matter because you're going to just kill them anyway. So, but yeah, it works really nice. Um, I like the design. I was just messing around and I was like, well... I want to be able to see into it, but I also want it to be compact and not crazy redstone-ish. Because I'm not really good with redstone. Redstone-ish? Is that a word? I guess it is now. Because I just came up with it. Um, I'm sure somebody else has come up with it before, but whatever. Uh, we're probably going to make, or we're going to try, I don't know how we're going to do it yet. We're trying to make a gas killing thing on the top. And it would just spawn gas and kill them. And no pigmen. I don't know how we're going to do that yet, but we're looking into that. Hopefully it'll work. Oh, no left. Yeah, I'm hoping it will work because that means we can just farm gas tiers whenever we wanted it. But yeah, it works nicely. And uh, I'm going to go down here and hopefully not die. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Don't die. I don't want to fall. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, let's get my coal blocks. Cool, not all of them went into the thing. Arr, he died. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. I have to say myself. Uh, this right here is trash. So, zombie flesh, rotten flesh gets put in there and despawns. Uh, yeah, it's been running for a day, and we have two stacks and three, plus all that, which I need to turn into 
blocks. I don't know why we have zombie flesh in here. Oh, hey. Thank you. So zombie flesh and other stuff gets put in here. Zombie flesh gets trashed. Everything else can stay in there. Chickens and... I don't know how we're getting chicken and feathers, because there's no way they can actually die unless they're suffocating. Which is fine with me. I don't really care. Welcome back, Nell. Yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, there's a lot of work to put into that. Uh, Nell's been farming freaking dark oak sackling. Sa bleh. Saplings? What are saplings? Is that a new word too? Um, dark oak saplings. We're going to try to remove all this bedrock right here. I'm trying to make it... So the idea, what we're doing, is we're going to have a border. Where's he going? There's a border around the the, uh, the world border. It's 1,000 blocks in each direction right now. And on Friday, this upcoming Friday, the 17th of October, um, it's going to be expanding to 2,000 blocks in uh, each direction. And we're going to have, we're going to try, I don't know if it's possible, to set one direction, which would be north, which this right here is north. Uh, we're going to try to make it north go uh, 8,000 blocks only. So 8,000 blocks north, and the rest would be 2,000 blocks on each side. And that's going to be our exploring direction. So we were going to have a, above the, above the nether way to travel. And, uh, see how that would work with horses and whatnot. Should I give him a little love tap? Like, like a little punch? Punch in the face? Like, eh, 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 eh. Yeah, yeah, run, run. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but, uh, that's about it for today. Short episode, I know. Uh, next, tu uh, this Tuesday, I'm going to make another video explaining the over-ender. And then there's probably not going to be another video until October 17th, which is the Wither Fight. And then after that, we can work on my base, and that's when things get fun. And I cannot wait to start. So I'm going to be farming a bunch of snow this week, getting some obsidian, some more andesite, stuff like that. Uh, we might raid a, um, water temple, water monument, whatever you want to call it. And, um, hopefully get some lamps out of that, because I'm going to need those too, as well as some prismatine blocks. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, I will see you next episode. Make sure you leave a like, that helps me a lot. Um, make sure you subscribe too, it's awesome. I like to hear from you guys, I like talking to you guys. So leave some comments, send me some messages, do whatever you gotta do. I wanna talk to you guys, and I wanna know what you think about all this stuff that's going on. I'll see you guys next episode.